Overnight, Chicago police are investigating a shooting which left three people hurt. This happened just after 12.30 a.m. at 56th and South Elizabeth in Inglewood. Police say the victims were standing on the sidewalk when shots were fired. Two 39-year-old men were transported to University of Chicago Hospital in good condition. A 23-year-old woman was taken there in fair condition with a gunshot wound to the back. So far, no one is in custody. A 39-year-old man. The man was found just before 10 o'clock last night in an alley near Monitor and West Division in the Austin neighborhood. He had been shot multiple times. The man was taken to Loyola Hospital where he was pronounced dead. Police say a gun was recovered from the hand of the victim. I see in the last few minutes a police source telling us it was a security guard who was killed here. You're looking alive at the scene as police are investigating right by the athletic field on Morgan. Familiar with this area? Chicago police say a 44 year old man was shot multiple times in a drive by shooting. He did not survive. And right now, police do not have anyone in custody for that shooting. <laughs> Overnight, a 23-year-old man was killed, another wounded in a shooting. It happened around 8.30 last night outside of a restaurant at 31st and Pulaski. Chicago police say the victim was taken to Mount Sinai Hospital and died there. A 35-year-old man was also taken there in critical condition. Police are looking for the gunman, who they say ran. A year-old woman was shot and killed in Inglewood overnight. Police say the shooting happened in the 1300 block of West 72nd Street around 3.30 a.m. Neighbors tell us they heard at least eight gunshots. What's happening, family? It's your man, Mr. O, with the info. Give me what you need to know. But, so but, enforcing but, a policy you ain't here for me, though. On Friday night, two teens yeah, and a 12-year-old boy another, were wounded. Another What's Going On Chicago episode. You see, the violence, the mayhem, the chaos that's been going on this past weekend if you want to call this the opening of the summer season. 45 people were shot this past weekend. And despite the little article in the corner saying eight fatally, that number has rose to 12, unfortunately. You see, summertime shy is a vibe to itself. You know, day and night, night and day. When the sun go down, <laughs> that's when all the riffraff want to come out and play. Yeah, I know this is going on in other big major cities in America, but Chicago is known for this type of record-breaking violent behavior every week, every weekend. Just a couple of days ago, not only in my neighborhood, my community, Inglewood, at least six people were shot. Four of them, unfortunately, unalive. And I believe two or three of them were young women between the ages of 18 and 20. Now, we are only experiencing this and it's just the tip of the iceberg, like I said in my other video with the other deletion in my neighborhood. We are only experiencing this because the lack of resources, the lack thereof police personnel even though they're doing a whole little grandstand right there, symbolic of uh, standing in blue, they're outnumbered and outgunned big time. And a lot of them that's down there in that bottom picture, you see they're not in proper shape. A lot of them are scared and want to go ahead and see the next day. So 
they'll go ahead and pull the trigger too. But look, look at this beautiful overview, drone view of the city. That's that's probably one up north or near the north side neighborhoods, nice and clean and whatnot. But what I see is nothing but degradation, poverty, and lost hope from people who just see what's going on, see who's moving in, getting all type of prizes, be able to restructure their family, their culture, leaving their land and coming to our city and take our jobs, take our housing, take our tax dollars, and, and, and basically pushing the people that was already here, black or brown, out into the streets. And the ones that are in the streets, they're out there waiting to to do this some more, but it's your man, Mr. O, and I'm gone. Peace. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you want you to donate, you can sock it to my pocket at Cash App, dollar sign, M I S T E R O O seven O. And you can hit my email if you want to go ahead and get support the content.